Nature Partnership is comprised of volunteers from a number of organizations. What we all have in common is we live in Wake County, we're interested in Wake County, and we know that some of those key natural resources, the things that you know we grew up with, certainly I went to school here at NC State, and in all my classes, we would go on field trips in Wake County. Well, so many of those sites that I went to as a student are gone now. They've been developed. And whatever it was our professors were taking us to look at have been lost. We have an active open space acquisition program. And we've either bought outright just with county money or partnered with municipalities or the state for over 4,000 acres in the county. Our stewardship of these properties, actually getting people out on them, um, finding out what they need, uh, writing a management plan for them has been lacking. And you know, I was hearing from the professors at State that they were losing places to take their students to give them real world experience, field experience, and we were like, you know, this is a no-brainer to get the students involved out here and the faculty involved and because we have the resources for them to be on. The way the, this whole thing got started was by a bunch of people sitting around a table over at Cup of Joe's across the street from NC State University. Uh, it was a small group of people at first and it kept growing. And we were talking about some issues with uh, the parks around the county and some of the places that have valuable natural heritage uh, things on them and how they're not really being managed very well for those and you know what can we do about that. Jamie Ramsey and John Connors approached George Hess and me basically to try to encourage the university to take a stronger lead in being a better community partner. So at the beginning, the vision was we have managed open space areas in Wake County that need to have some level of protection, management, and stewardship on them. And then from that point forward, it's been working with uh, the county, Wake County Parks, Rec, and Open Space to really develop and fully implement that mission. The Turnip Seed Preserve is our first project. This is a sandy area. These were easily farmed, so most of those sandy areas, uh, the native vegetation was quickly cleared and it was farmed. And this is one of those sites. There are some plants that are indigenous to those kind of habitats, and one in particular, I sort of think of it as the signature species, is a beautiful spring wildflower called uh, sundial lupin. And it, it, um, it grows and blooms in May, April and May. It gets about two feet tall, has these beautiful spires of blue flowers. Now they form these long stalks and the seed pods look somewhat like a bean. When the seeds ripen, the pods explode and the seeds shoot out anywhere from three to 10 feet. It's like a little cannon going off. We got a group of volunteers. We put um, bags over the seed pods and tied them up and then when the seed pods exploded, the seeds were captured in those bags. I'm excited about it because we're making it happen. We're out here today, we're planting the seeds, and hopefully in a year they'll germinate and they'll be here and they'll spread and it'll be the beginning of our prairie. It makes me very appreciative of the partnership because they're enabling us to do things, to implement our management plan, to um, work to achieve our vision of what we think would be a successful area here. I think there's a lot of value for diversity of expertise in the group um, and that's just so critical to being able to do what we're trying to do because there's so many parts that come into pulling this together. We have to know about how government works because the governments that manage these lands have to agree with what we're to what we're doing. It's the citizens' property, but they manage it, and they have to talk about um, and think about how they want it managed, and they have to essentially give permission for their staffs to do what they'd like to do on it. Um, so you have to know about government. You have to know about the science and the natural resources to actually create a management plan. You have to know about how to put organizations together, how to bring volunteers together, how nonprofits work, because they're involved in this too. Anytime we want to do something with county resources, um, at a given point it needs board approval, um, county commissioner approval. And so there's a formal process where we have to go before them and make a presentation and, and ask for their support. And 
We did that with Wake Nature because we are, in essence, just like building a park, we are making a nature preserve or creating a nature preserve. In order to do that, in order to commit those resources and be invested in that property, we had to go and, and present to the board and get their approval to proceed. This makes the county involved, that the commissioners have actually taken action and they've approved us being a partner with the Nature Preserves Partnership. I think one of the most remarkable things about Wake Nature is that we have been meeting every two weeks for the last three years. No one can continue to come to the table at 8.30 in the morning for an hour and a half if you are not passionate about the mission. And it's one of the most inspiring pieces of being involved in this partnership because not only is the county here, not only is the state here, not only is the museum here, not only are our nonprofits here, not only are our students here at 8.30 in the morning, but the faculty are here at 8.30 in the morning. And so it's just a very inspiring process in which to be involved in. Wake Nature, I think, is a great example of how the university can get outside of itself and integrate with the community that's interested in conserving natural resources. It's a very specific community we're talking about here. We're talking about the folks that work in the municipalities that manage these places, that can really use some help from the university. But it's not just us helping them, we also learn a lot from them about what's necessary to keep the natural resources really strongly growing in this region. Thank you.